If you're using Atlassian source tree as a Git client, there's a fairly simple method to clone a remote repository to your local workstation. The way to do this is when you've opened Atlassian source tree, you'll notice a little icon in the upper left-hand corner of the window. If you hover over the icon, you'll notice a little pop-up that says add repository, which is what we're going to want to do on our local workstation. We want to add a repository to our local workspace from the remote repository. So if I click on that icon, a window pops open underneath the main menu bar that's going to give me a couple of options here. One is to clone a repository from a remote source path or URL. I can add an existing repository. So if I've checked out a Git repository from some other tool, I can also add it and manage it using source tree. Or if I'm starting from scratch, I can create a repository using source tree. In this case, I'd like to clone the Git example workspace to my local workstation. So you'll note here that there is a request for a source path or URL. I'll need a destination path, a folder on my local workstation to clone to, and the option to give my bookmark a name. So in this case, I can give it a readable name. I'll call it git example. Now to enter the source path or URL, there are two ways that you can do this. One is if you copied the URL or know the URL from some other method. In this case, maybe you've copied a URL from the GitHub web interface. Perhaps a colleague has emailed you a URL of a Git repository. You can copy this path into this box, or if you've authenticated with other Git providers, such as GitHub or Bitbucket, using SourceTree, you can also click on the little globe button. If you hover over it, it'll tell you hosted repositories. You'll note that you can find repositories on your hosted accounts. In this case, I have two repositories in my GitHub account. You'll see here it says host is GitHub, and it'll give the owner of the project. I have access through GitHub to these two projects. And if I click on Git example, and I say OK, it will populate that source path URL, and it also provide a quick check to tell me that this is a remote Git repository. Source tree can also be used for the source control system called Mercurial, but in this case, we'll just verify that this is a Git repository, and we'll press the clone button. You'll see a little bit of output, and when it's finished, source tree will display that bookmark, Git example, in your bookmarks window, which will allow you to double click and open information about this repository, including all of the working copies, the branches, the tags, and any remotes that may be associated with the project. So with that, we've seen how we can clone a remote repository using Atlassian SourceTree, so we can get to work on contributing to this code base.